This is the Cuisinart Deluxe Toaster Oven Broiler. It has a beautiful design, stainless steel, has a nice roll bar handle in the front here. When you open it, you can see the interior is quite generous. It's 0.6 cubic feet. It can hold a 12 inch pizza, a whole roast chicken, and it can also toast six slices of bread. So let me show you what else comes with your oven. This is your baking pan and rack, and the rack is adjustable, so you put it this way and it's high. Put it this way, it's much lower. This is your adjustable interior rack. On the top position, it has a lock, so it, it doesn't come out all the way, but it can also be removed and put into multiple positions, like so. This is the way you would put it if you're gonna put a whole roasted chicken in there. Just gonna turn it back over put it back in here because I'm going to use it in this position later. <clears throat> so that's the inside of your oven. Uh, the other thing is it does has nine functions and let me show them to you. First you can see um, your clock display and large display here and just by turning this knob it starts to step through the functions. You have toast, bagel, and the one that's blinking is the function that you're on, bake, and then also with bake, you can use the convection function. Broil, keep warm, reheat. And let me just show you, for instance, for toast, when you put it on toast, you notice it starts uh, blinking. I notice that the shade button blinks. This lets you know what functions are operational in that, in that setting. So you press shade, and this is where you can adjust your shade control from one all the way to light to seven, which is dark. And then you just hit the start button, and then you'll toast or start toasting. This also tells you how much time you have left in your toast cycle. I'm going to turn it off again, just so I can show you something else. For instance, here's your bagel. You're going to do the same thing, shade. Set your shade on whatever you want. And then here, you can also use the defrost function, and you'll see a little snowflake show up there. And that's really great, especially if you happen to freeze your bread or your bagels, you can use that. So then you have bake. It goes from 150, I'm gonna press temp, 150, and it goes all the way up to um, 450. So 150 to 450. And it goes in both directions. You also notice too, it has a two, app, a two hour timer. So we could hit temperature, we set it on temperature and then you can hit timer and you can adjust the timer for every, whatever time up to two hours that you're gonna cook. And then you just hit start and it'll start preheating. So let me show you how to cook something in this toaster oven broiler. We're gonna use the broil function today. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna remove the rack cause that I don't need. I'm just going to close this a little bit. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to get it started while we're going to prepare our food. Um, put it on broil. We're going to hit start and let it get, get ready. You don't have to preheat in the broil feature. I'm just going to loop that open a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get our, we're going to make, this is a modified version of our kitchen sink nachos. So um, I just want to show you how simple and easy this is to do. So what we're going to do is just spread the nachos out on the bottom of the pan like so. And then we're going to um, put our ingredients in. The first thing is, this is already cooked chicken. If you happen to have any leftover chicken, just um, shred it up by hand. And you know, this is a great thing to, to use leftover chicken for, or you can even make quesadillas and do them in your oven. So let's just put that around, evenly dispersed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some black olives. And like I said, you can use whatever ingredients you like for this. This just happens to be what some of the items that we had very handy. These are um, chilies. So we're just gonna, for a little flavor, dab those about and then what we're going to do is the next step, you can see how easy this is. This is also a great thing to um, do uh, for an appetizer because you can serve a lot of people. It's really tasty. It's slightly different than just 
regular old nachos. That's quite a bit of chili I put on there. And then of course, what would nachos be without lots of shredded cheese? And um, you can use whatever type of cheese you want. I just happened to use a, a one that was a little bit orange today, so it looks nice on top of the other ingredients, the, the you know green chilies and the black olives. So I think that's plenty of cheese. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to put this in the oven, slide it in, I'm gonna close it. I like to leave it ajar a bit. And um, here is where we're gonna set the timer on 12 minutes. And um, there we go. We're gonna come back in a few minutes and check on our nachos. You're gonna see how nice and bubbly the cheese is. So let's check on our nachos. I'm gonna turn the oven off. Oh look, they came out gorgeous. See how nice and evenly browned they are? That's because the oven has a really precise uh, thermometer feedback, so it keeps great temperatures on the food you're gonna cook in there. It's a really versatile product. It's the Cuisinart Deluxe Convection Toaster Oven Broiler.